video is all about this. Okay, well, we're not, well, it is. This is about loading. And if you watch one of the earlier videos, I showed how the cylinder is loaded. And what you get with these guns is this. And this is the loader. So the loader works with the, a little recess to actually put in, uh, make sure you don't hit the actual pins. Um, goes in there, put in your powder and bullet, and then push it down. Um, but of course, as you can see, clearly, the, uh, the way that this pivots to the point is, is just going to push this up. It's no good, really. It's a bit of a, um, you know, it's obviously been cut short to save on money for making this particular plate. It's a hard, decent, thick bit of steel. So I guess to save on making a proper longer piece so it doesn't bend. I mean, you really couldn't push in one of the, uh, one of the bullet heads without this tipping all the time. So I made a little bit of a, a redneck fix. So the temporary workaround was this, wood. And this slides here, and as you can see, with this pushing here, yes, this will lift up against um, this piece of metal bracket, but it basically won't tip over and you can put your cylinder in, as you probably saw. Well, if you look on the previous videos of me loading this, that's why we need to have this. So at this point um, is supported, I can press in. But it's still very redneck. I'm not sure really how that's gonna be amazingly improved. So what the plan is, is basically to make a couple of holes here, here, perhaps one here, so this can fix in permanently and solidly to this block of wood, and then it'd just be neater and easier to, uh, to actually load the cylinder. And then of course, when you're done, this just comes off, that'll stay fixed, and good to go for transportation. Ah. What a fine, what a fine British day we have today and um, we're heading to the, uh, the workshop okay no okay that was Ollie we may see him later maybe ah uh, the workshop the garage so many memories so many workouts missed <laughs> but okay simple tool pillar drill uh, once I make a bit of space, there we go. Ollie the cat. Okay, you coming to have a look? All right. Okay. The uh, Ollie, aka the governor, uh, is going to be inspecting the work and signing off. Uh, quality control, absolutely. Okay, so um, what I've got to do uh, is just make a couple of little um, hole punches, so we know where to uh, where to drill our holes. Okay, there we go. Let's say here looks good. You know, nothing nothing scientific happening here. Ah. Uh, what if I got the blunt one? Ah! Is this... Oh, wait, wait, f focus. Okay, that's a bit more pointy pointy. All right. I'm sure there's a bit of... No, okay, all right, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Ah! Um, oh, that's better. Which means I can probably do the other side. Better because that was a bit pants. Okay, woo. <laughs> okay, and then one more, last one. <sighs> uh, about here, plenty of room. Okay. Yeah. 
that showed it. Actually, use this to hold this in place. An actual proper bit of equipment. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we've got a gap there. So. Hole number two. Okay, quick cleanup. That's looking good so far. And I just need to move this a little further in. We don't have that much space on here. And we've got to keep the shop or the garage nice and clean. This is the inner sanctum, the man cave as it were. And we have to keep, yeah, we have to respect. Respect the man cave. Yeah. Yay. There we go. Our next hole, <laughs> there will be drilling, <laughs> uh, said the bishop to the actress. <laughs> okay, all right, shut up, let's go. Okay, but that's looking fairly cool, pretty decent-ish, yeah. Well, there's three holes, so, you know, I shall now attempt to, uh, attempt. No! Do! Or do not. There is no try. I will put this on top of the, the wooden block. Okay, so I'm going to do three screws into the wood. I'm not sure if you can see that, but, um, so instead of trying to drill right through, put bolts through, we're just going to do through three hefty long screws into the wood and see how that works. I think that'll be fine. Okay, so here we are. Plenty of clearance and I have room to work and press in the actual bullets. So that's kind of cool. Happy with that, but uh, I'll be at the range tomorrow and we'll see how the, the new press on the block performs. So we're here on the range, we've got the, uh, the press in place, which I'm kind of impressed with. <laughs> uh, and uh, I've got to bring my tripod, so um, I will put the powder in heads and hopefully try and get an angle uh, my phone lent against something to to see the press in action hopefully nothing like this will uh, uh, nothing will happen with it coming apart so okay okay let's see if I can't uh, there we go all right let's see if this works yes and that's happily working. Oh yeah. Okay, a lot more comfortable. Yeah. Only had this press for I don't know how many years, but you know, sometimes you know, some jobs just take forever to get around. Yeah. There we go, press that right in. Last one. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Just have to pop the primers in and we're ready to go. Click. 
So thanks for watching. Um, I really appreciate it taking the time out. Um, I really appreciate it if you may want to subscribe uh, to check out some more videos that are coming along. There'll be other shooting ones such as clay pigeon shooting and generally out and about doing some rough shooting. So there's some good stuff on the way. So thanks a lot. Take care and safe shooting.